the reason why you don't have a business right now is business requires muscles. It requires time and concentration. It requires you removing all the attention from anything else ex except this. This is why, I mean, how I many people understand this? There are only one, watch this now. There are only one, there's only 1% 1 of the world's population that is rich. 1%. How many did I say? 1%. In fact, it's less than 1%, but we call it 1%. Now, imagine if it's at least 1%. That means we have gays there that are in the 1%. We have lesbians there that are in the 1%. That means your chances of getting married to a rich person will be 0 0.1. Rich people are not everywhere looking for you. Rich people are looking to marry rich people. Oh, you still not get it. If I can only, you know, by the spirit of God, get married to a rich guy. The rich guy is looking for a rich lady. 0 0.1, less than 0 0.1 chances of a rich person locating you and marrying you. I'm not talking about a person with a good salary. No, I'm talking rich. Big difference. Why is it that it's 1%? Yet the rules for making money are so simple. I'm telling you this. It's so simple. If a person takes you and takes you to, a, to his company and says, here, sit here. This is it. This is how you make money. You'll be like, ah, this is it. Say, no, 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 you're hiding something. I've taught people in Millionaire Academy how I'm making money. Guess what? Very few of them become millionaires. Not because I, I hid anything. No, I did not. But they don't have the tenacity, the bold of tenacity to follow through with those simple steps. Listen, prosperity is universal. Hear this. I said what? Prosperity is universal. Wherever you see consistency, in finances coming up for one person, that person is following a set of rules that you have not followed. Every time you see results in one person's life, there is a law that they have followed. And they are constantly attacking that law. And all you need is not how to make money. You need to know what that law is. Have you followed it? No. We were going to, to Scotland one time. In fact, it was yesterday. We were sitting down with the team in London here. And we were getting into this um, cryptocurrency and putting this money there, putting this money there. And as we were sitting there, it went what? 2,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. That's like 300% from what it was that time. And I said something. I said, money is looking for other monies. I'm sitting here. I already have money, but it comes to me. It's not that I am cheating using prophecies to go to a crypto. No. But money will go when money is moved. There are rules of money. Money is not emotional. It's emotional. No, no, you didn't hear that. In other words, no matter how you cry for money, money will never come to you. You will look so sad in your house like, eh, if I had money. Money will never hear you. Money is so stubborn. You cry if I had money. God, please, God, please. Money is like, starts running away from you even further. Money is not emotional. It doesn't come because you cry. And listen to this carefully. Money doesn't go to nice people. That's why drug dealers have it. The nicer you become, the more money runs away from you. It goes to people with bulldog tenacity. They grab a principle. They follow through with it. They go for it. They go for it. They go for it. They go for it. They keep going for it until it comes and they attack it again. But you, imagine the time you spend on social media if you spend on learning money, learning crypto. Learn, you see, it's a language. Let me tell you something. Money is a language. There is a book written a few years ago called How to Speak Money. People won't talk. They won't talk about profit came. They talk about revenue. They don't talk about how, this, how much are you left with. They talk about balance sheets. There's a difference. I'm just giving you just layman's terms nonsense. Just stupid things that people with money would even discuss. But if you meet two people, 
I remember one guy who has 600 houses. He came to me and said, oh, um, uh, for me to get here. I said, how did you get? He said, he said um, uh, this brother uh, extended a facility to me. To the facility. What facility? He made a loan. And the guy's not saying a loan, saying facility. Money is a language. When you see rich people sitting down like this, talking about money, you think they're talking about some animal somewhere. Because the language is different. And you never have money until you learn the language. But for you to learn a new language at this grown-up stage you are in right now, it's very difficult. Do you know your child when he's in the womb or she's in the womb, she understands the differences in languages that you speak? Yeah. Semantics and syntax happen in the brain way before anybody comes out of the womb. They know this is French. They might not call it French. And this is English. It's different. They know it. 